Indeed, and we're going to begin with a piece that could wipe the smile right off of the Mona Lisa's face. Several days of torrential rain threatening priceless works of art at the Louvre in Paris. The museum currently shut down while workers rush to move the art to safety as the river Seine swells. Making it all the more worrisome, a lot of the Louvre's priceless pieces are stored underground. 20,000 works to be exact, all vulnerable to water damage. Thankfully, the Louvre has a 72-hour evacuation plan in place, and in a stroke of luck, a, a paint stroke, shall we say, <laughs> they just held a drill for this exact scenario a few months ago. Officials say the Mona Lisa is safe and sound in her usual spot on an upper floor. It's those other works that they are very concerned That's about. Yep. Yeah. Uh, also in pop news today, Turn on your favorite filter because Snapchat is taking over. Now exceeding Twitter in popularity with a total of 150 million users tapping in to watch 10 billion videos a day. I think my kids are watching half of those. The social <laughs> the media half. platform, yeah, George and I got you covered there at Snapchat. The platform is only four years old, already the mainstay for young users who love not only the face swap feature, but also they can't get enough of telling their story and then watching others making the outlook all the more sparkly rainbows and happy puppies. I have a little fun fact for you guys. The company's worth right now, $19 billion, Woo! four years old, wow. privately owned. We are in the wrong line of work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I just learned how to use it yesterday. How's it going for you? I did a really good puppy face, and I did a Marilyn Monroe wig. Like, one nice. that distorts the faces, too. Yeah, that's so, yeah, we'll do it after.